Okay, today we're out here with my homemade uh, plate holder. We're going to see how this works. Uh, I'm going to take you up close to kind of show you what I did. The front legs are three foot long and the back legs are four foot long. I figured when it got something hit on it, that would give it a little bit more stabilization. So we're going to shoot it a few times, see what we get. But let's go up and take a closer look at it real quick. Okay, taking a closer look at this, I used a... Uh, this is a half inch bolt, half inch, uh, to hold my main frame. And all I did was come up and put those at a nail. Lay this board across the top and I've just screwed wood screws into the back. Then for my plate, I have put, let me zoom you around here. Okay, so you can kind of see where I did the wood screws here. I've got four. And then for my plate holding, I just put a regular size bolt there. Hopefully, we're going to see how that handles, uh, see if that works it out. But more or less, you're looking at, at three two by fours, and then you'll have enough extra to make a couple extra of the top plates if you want to. You can make this any length you want. I just went with this length. I could make it a little shorter, where I could get maybe three cuts out of a out of a two by four. But uh, we'll see how it holds up, and uh, let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. Okay, for this target test, as I say, I don't want to see how that target's going to react. I'm just using a 40 high point. Uh, we're going to shoot about uh, shoot about 30, 40 rounds at it, and we'll see what happens. See if we get any feedback from the target. Uh, we're going to be shooting at approximately 25 to 30 yards. So we're going to see how that goes. So here we go. Well, we missed a couple times, but uh, we hit it quite a few. I'm going to go up here and take a look at it and see what we've got, see what happened to the target, if we've had any damage to uh, my supports or anything. So let's go up here and take a look. Well, the plate, of 
course, could handle it. It's not a big deal with the plate. My mounting on the target seems to be just fine. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. You can see that uh, both of those held up just fine. The mounting on the targets. Uh, the only other problem I have, as I say, you can see both the mounting brackets there. They both held it. Is, of course, there's shrapnel all up along the bottom. There's shrapnel. down each leg you can kind of see it here I'll kind of zoom in you can see the shrapnel and my biggest problem it seems is this part right here this part of the two by four my main concern was the as you can see that a lot of this was hit right in through here you know that the board might only last three or four hundred hits and it might last a thousand so that's what i'm going to go ahead and hit it about a hundred more times and i'll be back to sh show you exactly what it did but that's my only worry right now as i say the shrapnel on the legs is is expected but i just wasn't expecting that much damage up here on this part so i'm going to go ahead and shoot it about a hundred more times and then we'll come out and look at it again okay after about a hundred shots of this it is there's of course wood all over the ground but kind of look at the bottom here i think it could last a good while uh, possibly four or five six hundred shots so if you look at making a stand like this the you know redoing this this part here would just un you'd undo these four, these eight wood screws and you'd be slapping another two by four as i say you can cut cut them two and a half feet or three foot long or two and a half feet long and you could put uh you'd have three extras a couple extras so i think it'll work for for the cheapness of it so we're going to keep on giving it a shot and we'll shoot this one until it wears out so you'll know in my other videos when it finally does give out thanks for watching my videos please subscribe 